Australian scientists have announced a major medical breakthrough around heart transplants. Our science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran joins us. Brent, take us through it. What's the development? Yes, yeah, so an Australian man is the first in the world to leave hospital with a total artificial heart. Now, he's not been identified, but we know that he's from New South Wales in his 40s and had severe heart failure. The success has just been announced today, though the six-hour procedure took place in November last year at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. This unidentified man had the heart for 100 days before receiving a donor heart earlier this month. So he was the first in Australia to receive this total artificial heart and the sixth in the world. But as I say, he's the first in the world to get that type of heart and be able to be discharged from hospital, Ash. Uh, heart transplantation does require anti-rejection drugs and uh, survival at 10 years is just 50%. Uh, so there's an opportunity here for a mechanical device to surpass that. Uh, we, what, we have, what I have in my hands here is the first step towards doing that. Uh, and we're working as a mission to be able to, you know, have as many unlimited uh, heart transplants basically available. So this bifocal total artificial heart was invented by Queensland specialist Dr Daniel Tim speaking there and developed through a Monash University program. It weighs around 650 grams and can be controlled externally. In many ways it is unique and it uses magnetic levitation to uh, stimu uh, simulate natural blood flow. The federal government actually invested $50 million into its development to help address this significant shortfall in donor hearts. Globally, an estimated 64.3 million people suffer from heart failure, but only around 5,000 heart transplants are carried out each year. So the bifocal devices used during the period while a patient waits a, a real one, well, we're not quite at the stage where people can live the rest of their lives with these devices, but that's, that is certainly an aim, Ash. Yeah, great step forward, Brent. Appreciate you explaining that for us. Thanks so much.